Hi all, I'm going to try and show you how to copy your grades from Blackboard to Brightspace. So first go to your Blackboard page that you want to copy the grades from, scroll down on the menu to the Grade Center area and open that up and we want to go into the full Grade Center. Once that loads we're going to choose under Work Offline we want to choose to download the grades. Now you might choose only specific grades, but I think a lot of us are gonna want the full grade center. So choose that option if you do. And then under options for this delimiter type, we just wanna choose comma. That's just gonna make sure we have the right format to copy over to Brightspace. And I'm going to click submit and wait for this to load. And now I download these grades and I'm gonna get a CSV file, which I can now open. You might have to go to your downloads area, but you should see your grades. And I'm gonna to scroll to zoom in to make this a little easier. Before continuing, I think it's gonna likely help for us to go to Brightspace to look at the sample file. They have a sample file to try and help us. Go to your Brightspace site and go to your grades area. Click grades. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is choose the import. Ultimately, we're gonna import our grades, but the nice thing is they have a grade sample file. Click that, open that. Again, you might have to go to your downloads area to open it. And this will give you a comparison of how you should be changing your Blackboard grades to fit. And there's a few things we can do right off the bat. So I'm going to actually shift this over to the right and zoom it in, shift this over to the left so we can try and compare. First things first, what I need to do is make sure to get rid of the columns I don't need. The student ID, last access, availability, I can simply delete these. I right click and delete. I also need to move the usernames over to the front. You can see Brightspace has an org defined unit, but we don't actually need to use that. We do need the username though at the front. So I'm gonna copy. Well, actually what I wanna do is cut, sorry, cut. And then I'm gonna to go to the front and insert cut cells. So what I've done is just swapped where they are. They're at the front now. Now, in my case, I'm not using my weighted or total columns, so I can delete those. You'd basically delete out any columns you don't actually want. Another thing I'm gonna to have to do is at the very end, you can see this sample file has this end of line indicator. Just copy that, copy that, and paste it at the end of your grades. And what I have to do is make sure those pound signs go all the way down to the bottom of my list. So I'm going to highlight the last one, scroll all the way down, and a trick you will like, hopefully, is there should be a fill down option for you. You can see my sample file doesn't have grades for all students. Yours hopefully will, but mine doesn't. Great. Now, the last real important thing I have to do is actually tell this file what types of grades I have. What do I mean? Well, let's go over and look at this sample file. You can see the one from Brightspace, and let's zoom in a bit more. When I expand it, it has assignment one, but it also has at the end points grade. You actually have to use that points grade to say if it's points or not. So my grade one example, and I can delete out some of this other stuff, I just want it to be grade one. And what I'm gonna do is say it's a points grade. Don't forget the capitals or you're getting error. The second column I have in this example is not points, it's actual text. So if I look at this example file, I can see this one says, oh, I have to enter text grade. So same thing, I'm gonna delete out all the unneeded stuff that Blackboard added. And I wanna add text grade. Okay. Now I should be able to save this file and upload it to Brightspace. And let's give that a shot. So I'm gonna to go to my Brightspace. I'm gonna choose my file. I wanna go in and see which one is it. Oh, this CSV. Again, you might drag and drop it over, but choose the file that we just saved. If you choose to create new grade items, that's most likely what you're gonna to have to do because you probably don't have those grade items already made in Brightspace. And now I'm gonna click continue. And you can see it's found new grade items, grade one and grade two. I can confirm this one was a numeric or number. This one's a text entry. I'm creating a new grade item for each. 
And then for the numeric one, I do have to specify how many points is out of, so make sure you know. In my case, it was out of 10, so great. For the text, I don't have to worry. And finally, now it will tell me if there's any unrecognized students. In this case, Blackboard, my preview user, isn't gonna come over, but all the other students are recognized. So I can continue even more. And I can preview the import. So I can see, does it match what I expect? I could look through all the student names and see. And if I'm happy with this, I can now click import and those grades will come into Brightspace. Hopefully this helps.